Valtignano there are many varied witnesses relating to the Italo-Greek world, a culture which for centuries has influenced the artistic, linguistic and religious tradition of Terra do Tranto. The heritage of the Eastern monasticism is evident in the Abbey complex, named the Hundred Doors, situated in the Levantine countryside of Giordignano. The ruins date back to the early Middle Ages and they are attributable to an Italo Greek monastic foundation, which is, according to some historians, the table to the 5th 6th century. The structure has changed considerably over time, in particular during the Norman domination. According to tradition, the church was dedicated to the saints Cosmas and Damien, a hypothesis confirmed by the presence of ancient frescoes representing the two saints, as attested by the Archbishop of Otranto during his pastoral visit in 1608. Another jewel of the cultural heritage of Giordignano is the crypt of San Salvatore, carved into the tufa in the southern outskirts of the historic center. It is a Byzantine religious underground building, with three naves and three apses, subdivided by the characteristic bema, an architectural typology dating to the 8th century. Inside one admires different fragments of frescoes, which once embellished the walls of the church. The walls are magnificent and rich in ancient charm, and they were carved in the living stone. The crypt of San Paolo unites the megalithic world with the religious devotion of Giordignano. Carved into the rocky embankment, which also contains the menhir of the same name, the underground structure presents a fresco of St. Paul, the saint invoked for protection against the bites of poisonous animals. It is not by coincidence that the image of the apostle is flanked by a spider intent on weaving its web, a demonstration of the relationship which links St. Paul to the phenomenon of Tarantismo.